I've got the same ring as in the preceding. And on my paper, I've drawn a horizontal line and a vertical line, more or less horizontal, more or less vertical, that more or less line up with the marks at 90 degree intervals around the circle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trace the circle. And it would have been better if I hadn't bumped it, but we'll uh, move on. Okay. And then I'm going to um, put marks at the various marked positions around the circle. So here I've got a pretty good picture. Now I'm going to call this position zero degrees going to call this one 30, 60, 90 degrees here, 120 degrees here, 150 degrees here, 180 degrees here. Now, if I continue numbering my angles around the circle, I'm going to have to go 45 degrees to get from here to here, which is going to put me at 225 degrees and another 45, of course puts me at 270 and then at 315 and coming back to our original zero degree position it's the same basically as our 360 degree position okay now if we are uh, repeating what we did previously I'll just draw a horizontal line I'll cheat and use a straight edge horizontal line that represents the tabletop and we pretend that we're looking straight down from here. Uh, we can see that uh, if we look straight down from the zero degree position we come down and hit the line here. From the 30 degree position it looks like we're going to come down and hit about here. From the 60 degree position, let's try to keep things pretty parallel. And of course I could be using a right angle, but we're only approximating at this point. Okay, so I've got this and then coming to the uh, 120 degree position. Of course the 90 degree position projects right down here. The 150 degree position and of course the 180 degree position which will be here. Now we could compare that with the marks we made previously and we see that we weren't all that far off with the angle of the camera, the parallax and so forth uh, caused that picture to be a little less accurate than this one. Again, if we're viewing from straight above, then these are the marks that we would end up with. Now there are a couple of other marks, and I think maybe I'll put those in a slightly different color. I'm not sure how much the color difference will show up here. But let's go to the 315 degree position and draw kind of this purple mark. I didn't quite get that one straight and probably won't get this one all that straight either. So we can't put a lot of stock in what we see here. But we do get the idea that the 315 and the 225 degree positions uh, project down something like this. Now there should be more symmetry in that. In other words, uh, the 315 degree projection should be about as close to the 60 degree projection as the 120 degree projection is to the 225 degree projection and we see that uh, we don't have right left symmetry here. The 315 degree line is closer to here than the 225 line is to here but remember all this is hand drawn and we could make this much more precise if we use 
if, if, if we carefully use good instruments to make our drawing. Now, a um, couple of things that we see is, first of all, it's, it's clearly further from this position to this position than it is from this position to this position, which is further than the distance between these two positions. The distances are decreasing, and the same happens on the other side. 